Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, Savona Ikamala Mushengiwe, Wagama Tonsela. If you are a returning subscriber, hi friend, hi Zala, what do you do, baby? Please go on my other social media platforms to like, to comment, to follow, to do all the right things that are done. That being Instagram and TikTok. So today is a Monday. It's a random day in my life. If I look tired, it's because I am tired. If I look crusty, it's because I'm feeling tired. So today is a Monday. Yesterday was my mother's birthday and it was so beautiful. She had a theme. First of all, she started, I'd say she's going to have an intimate party for five and it went, the number increased to 20. But you know what? I'm so happy for her. We normally celebrate like our birthdays, our birthdays like together, that being myself, my mom and my little sister and we'll do whatever the other person wants for their birthday but normally we plan my mom's but this year she was like no she just wants to celebrate with her friends and i'm happy she did that for herself they had a theme jean and whitey it was so nice so i'm very tired from yesterday that's why i look like this and i couldn't even like capture because you know capture moments i don't even have a picture with my mom because i mean if you're hosting you need to be taking care of guests and yeah man yeah so that's what happened so i couldn't get footage at all because i was busy i was hosting being a host <laughs> so that's what happened so this week is just gonna be a random week in my life i literally have no plans but to study and to catch up on my schoolwork and to go back to the gym i haven't been in um, at the gym in, in a while because of going back to the office so i'm just trying to get my feet back it's warm now i've gone back to jogging as well so yeah, I think I'll just be sharing a random week in my life. I hope you enjoy this vlog. And yeah, just, just just comment, just like, just subscribe and do everything. Let me show you my outfit of the day, if this tripod will allow me. Um, ooh, I am wearing these, um, this top that I got from Mr. Price. You saw it on the previous haul. I'm wearing these joggers. Bag is from, this is from Mr. Price. These are Bay's wardrobe. This is Bay's wardrobe. Um, this is from Zara and my Nike running shoes. I think you guys saw this on the other vlog when I went for the marathon, the Mandela marathon. They are the best. They're so comfortable. And for perfume, I'm wearing my dupe. It is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle dupe. As you can see, it's halfway through. I absolutely love the scent. And yeah, let's just start this vlog. Let's let's just let's just keep it rolling um yeah let me just go quickly it's during working hours but but there's load shedding so i just decided to go get my fresh fruits and veggies and also exchange those things that have been stored so yeah shop, shop. I was in such a rush when we came in, but this is how we look. How cute. Can I be honest? I don't like wearing like open toe heels at work. I just feel like it's not professional. 
and I had this bag with which I feel like is very fitting. Let me remove this. This is my desk, which I feel like is very fitting. Hmm. One thing about me, I need to undo this hair. It's so old. I have to leave. Today was such a great session. Today was absolutely beautiful. It had to happen. I still need to improve on my networking skills. <laughs> If anything, I think that's really one of the things that let me do this. I need to work on when it comes to like corporate and just, you know, speaking to the right people. I was saying to my friends that I think one of the ways of networking is literally, <clears throat> especially in a corporate event. So now we grew up and we were not taught how to network, what to say when you go speak to the COO or the CFO or the CEO himself or herself you know so it's really things that i need to work on i think you need to prepare for it like it's an interview get to know what the person likes what they are about so that when you go to them you know how to broach the subject and how to not feel like you're just there for yourself and you also just want to know about them or you know something about them so it's really a skill that i want to improve on um because it's important so yeah Today was great. Today was beautiful. It had to happen. Um, I'm on my way. I'm going to leave now. You're on my way out. It's like half past six, 20 to seven. And today was necessary. Hey guys, it's a Friday. <sighs> today, it's a Friday. Yes, it's a Friday. And I'm going to pierce my belly. So this is my first piercing and I'm getting my second run. It's my second and last. It's my second and last. Norma, it's my second and last. Wow. <sighs> I'm so scared. Mm, I'm so scared. No ways. We all know it's a big <laughs> It's probably not the last. That's what I've been no, telling it's myself. The last. Things up here, so I will pitch up. Can I've I always have... wanted to have like a nose ring, tongue ring, tongue ring, and um, a, belly ring. a belly ring. But I feel like I won't do my tongue. Like it's fine. You will try me. I won't do my tongue. We'll see. It's just these two, then I'm done! By the way, you don't have only two piercings, eh? Oh, these you ones. You have four. Ah, uh, no, man. Like, I don't feel like now I'm a piercing. They are. People... I had... No, but it's okay. So, yeah, I'm going to get my piercing. Um, the gentleman that we went to the last time, Ushinja, where he's piercing, he now has a new joint, ne? Yeah. So, I'm going to see that joint for the first time. So I'm taking you guys away. 27 boxes, give them the directions. Look yeah, out. I'll link I'll link the directions down below. He's here in Joburg, he's in Melville. So it's our lunch break and I am going to get my piercing. I'm so scared, I won't lie, like yo. But we doing
hey guys so this is going to be the end of the vlog but whilst i was editing i realized that i didn't take you through why i was going to work that day so we had a ted talk a um a ted talk event if that's uh what i would call it for lack of a better word it was a social event so there was a guest speaker the guest speaker was Uthio Baloyi. Theo Baloyi is um, a well-known um, entrepreneur who's built a name for himself. He has a brand called Batu here in South Africa. Batu means shoe. And he just basically took us through why he started that brand, what it means to him, you know, and everything in between. Uh, but I think for me, the highlight was the networking session after the TED talk with the guest speaker. We had a networking session with all our executives and management. Um, and I think for me, that stood out, um, stood out because... As I navigate my way in corporate and I'm trying to raise my hand and I'm trying to make myself visible and for my name to be mentioned in boardrooms and not for me to be seen as a collective but as an individual, um, I don't think I was given the know-how. Like I wasn't given a manual of how to do it, you know. I was never taught that networking is important. I was never taught that... I was only taught that you need to make sure that you you score five for your KPI. And when you score five for your KPI and you're an overperformer, eventually you will be noticed. Eventually you will be seen. Uh, much as that is true, but also opening your mouth and saying, hi, do you know me? I'm Hlingi, where I studied financial accounting and I would like to be mentored by you as an executive is equally as important as working hard. And I think only now in my corporate journey, I learn and understand the importance of raising my hand, literally raising my hand. Only now I understand the importance of speaking for myself and not waiting for my manager to give me recognition, but to go knock at the right doors and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, um, can you mentor me? Can you tell me how you became you know, an executive at the age of 40 in corporate? How did you do it? I went through your LinkedIn profile and it's remarkable. Teach me, hold my hand. So I think that was my highlight for me because it literally gave me a taste of what networking looks like. I was intimidated. Um, I remember I had to speak to one of the ladies, which I really would love to just sit down with, but I wasn't prepared because I didn't go um, to the LinkedIn cause, and I felt like I don't know what to say. And I wasn't spontaneous about it. I'm yet to um, save the, what's, what's the English? I'm yet to redeem myself from that experience and really just have that conversation with them because these people are human after all. But I think Tina, we were really raised to just feel like a CEO is a CEO and they shouldn't be disturbed. A CFO is a CFO and they shouldn't be disturbed. And that's not the case. They're human. And I think at that level in their career, they actually want to teach people. They actually want to help people, but we just have been raised with this narrative that they high up there and they shouldn't be bothered so my mission is to bother them <laughs> because i want to grow and i want to learn in the few years that i've le that i'm left with being in corporate so that's basically that was my highlight for um for that event it taught me how to network it taught me how networking feels like you know and definitely next time i'll definitely be more prepared and i'll know what to say i think it was my first time and i was a bit intimidated but i think i've i have a few takeaways and i'll do better next time so that was the highlights of that event um i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry for being so serious <laughs> Oh my god, and literally just going after piercing all of a sudden I'm talking about career path thing like Shengue, who are you? Who are you, wild child? Okay, Shengue is a lot of things, guys. I have a lot of interests. <laughs> so that's basically the end of this video, the end of this weekly vlog. I delayed because I went on vacation and it was whole so wholesome. I actually um came back yesterday. And I wasn't able to edit this video because it was just giving me problems. 
and i also just wanted to be present and be in the moment with the girls so please look out for that um video it's probably gonna be published next week i love you guys so much please don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe Mwah.